Welcome to the show. Welcome to Santa Barbara Now. Uh, as you can see, we are not in the studio for this episode. We have left the studio and we're back in the kitchen. We're going to do a little more cooking uh, and I'm very excited to be joined by my co-host, Amy Amoroso. Amy, welcome. Thank you. Ready to do some cooking? Yes. And uh, today we're going to do a very special recipe because it involves uh, a veteran-owned business. Uh, Barry Moore is joining us. Uh, he's a veteran of the Navy. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome, uh, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. We have a great recipe, and uh, this is a type of soup, uh, and it's bruschetta sausage soup. It's Uncle Barry's bruschetta yeah. sausage. Uncle Barry's. And uh, <laughs> what's special about it is that this product, uh, the bruschetta, is made by a company that you've started, with, uh, that yes. you own. Yes. Um, and uh, that that uh, company uh, is a local business. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the company? And I know Amy helped you with that company as well. Yes, we uh, we started our business about 2011. This is when we began our process of, of getting all our approvals for the Department of Agriculture and all that. It's my son and I who started it. And we started our first production in the spring of 2012 was our first production. And we did that in conjunction with the Women's Expo. And that was something that we, we kind of geared towards that because we wanted to try our product out in live, okay, to see how it went. So we did some uh, Uncle Barry's bruschetta, and it's affectionately known as Uncle Barry because I've been making it for about 35 mm -hmm. years. So I've been making it a long time for family events and family functions. So that's how we started. We Our first show that we did, we sold out. So that's Fantastic. what made us really think about moving our business up another notch. That's great, and it's, here, it, it's great to hear about the veteran-owned businesses that are doing so great, and I'm very excited to feature this product in our recipe today. Uh, we're gonna get to the cooking. It's a very exciting uh, recipe. Anybody can make it. Lots of uh, easy to easily accessible products that you can buy anywhere. Uh, why don't we go through some of the ingredients real quick before we get started? Okay, well, just for a starter, we, we started our product, of course, with Uncle Barry's famous bruschetta yes. soup, or bruschetta. And then what we do is we use a little bit of uh, Swanson, but you can buy Swanson or a, a store brand of chicken broth or vegetable broth if you want to just make a vegetarian version of this. Okay, we're putting sausage in. Then we use a little bit of, of uh, quality USA olive oil, which is done right here in California. And then we use some Pampered Chef, and this is great, man, because this is great stuff. This is Pampered Chef Italian seasoning. It has a little bit of garlic, a little bit of basil. It's really good. And then we use a little bit of dried basil, okay, and that's for our soup. For make, the fresh basil's already in the bottle. Mm -hmm. And then we use a little bit of crushed pepper, and I use a nice peppercorn. It's a nice flavor. And then, and then of course, we use some fresh onion. Mm -hmm and some fresh pepper and a little bit of fresh garlic. So we give it a little bit of, of a little bit of spunk. Yeah. Great. So we're gonna we're gonna put all this together uh, mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna make this fantastic soup and then we're gonna try it. So I'm very excited. Amy, you ready? I'm ready. Let's, okay. let's start cooking. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's get to the right. cooking. Mm -hmm. And here we are at the stove. We're ready to start this fantastic recipe. Uh, Barry, you are going to walk us through this. Amy's going to make her debut. Yes. She is going to put all these wonderful ingredients together. Uh, so you have the helm. Uh, Barry, take us through the recipe. Okay, well what I do is I, I use equal parts of bruschetta and chicken broth to start it off. So if Amy, if you could just put those in. Absolutely. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> even the smell right now coming from that. Fantastic. Now, baby, this serves four. This will serve four to six people. And the recipe obviously can be increased. Can be increased. increased. As, necessary. as I told you, uh, we I typically will put this in a crock pot, and so it's about double of what we're doing today. And I let it simmer all day long, so by the time I get home at night, it's, it's all done. So something that's uh, this is kind of a half right? of a batch. We're gonna put some spices in. Are we gonna add this whole? Yes, um, that whole. Okay. It's whole equal parts, so it's 32 ounces of broth to 32 ounces of bruschetta. And uh, the bruschetta can be any type of bruschetta. Uh, we're using yours, but uh, people can, uh, yes. can visit your website if they'd like to get some of that, or they could go to any uh, local store. Yes, they can. Um, and these ingredients, again, are all things you can buy at your things supermarket. That, things you can buy at ShopRite, you can buy at Price Chopper, wherever you, your favorite shopping place. And you're doing heat 
Okay. I'm turning yep. the heat on, and I think what are we going to do, Barry? Uh, I would put that about half. All right. So we're gonna okay, so we're going to simmer this while Amy's cooking the sausage. All right, so I just added in about three quarters pound of. Um, right off, get on. Oh. Um, so I put in three quarters a pound of this sweet sausage. Sweet okay? sausage. I'm yeah. gonna add just a bit of the olive oil. Right, okay. Little... We don't want to add too much. Now the one thing we haven't done yet, and, and we should probably do now, is put in those spices. Yes. Yeah, so okay. Grab the spices. Pamper a chef. Italian seasoning mix. Yep. So, and we're adding just a little that's touch of this. Or how, how, how much uh, should we add? Uh, that that's a beat about a tablespoon, half a. Here I'm gonna show you. Yeah, how, about, how about this? That's probably close to a table. Tablespoon. Is this good? Yeah, that's great. Too much? Yep. No, that's great. There it is. That's great. There's no, never too much spice. <laughs> Bam. That's right. Bam. Okay. Never too much spice, as okay. far as I'm concerned. No, and it does smell yeah, good. It, it, it you does get smell the, good. Uh, yeah, you'll be, all these, the aromas will start to blend. Okay, and now we have some basil terrific. leaves. Some basil leaves, same, about the same amount. Okay, so maybe about, what are we looking at here? Uh, a little bit more of it. And then we should be good, you know, good? somewhere around there, a little bit more, maybe. A little bit more? Yeah. All right. So we're at what? A I'm a basil guy, so, yeah. you know. What's a good idea? <laughs> yeah, that's about good. About right a tablespoon. About a tablespoon okay. of that. Okay. Ooh. Yes, sir. And then we're going to put in just a touch of pepper, okay, just to pepper. add a little bit of flavor to it. You know, we're not trying to get it really hot with pepper, but we want to add that flavor. It's got a really unique flavor when it all binds together. So we're going to let these cook. Uh, we're going to let them simmer. Uh, Amy is going to... Uh, let us know when they're, when they're when finished. They're right. We're gonna uh, take a short break here. We're gonna meet you over at back at the uh, at the counter and uh, continue the second part of this recipe. And then we're gonna put it all together and, we're gonna and make this wonderful soup. Yeah. The Autism Society of the Greater Capital Region has been a great resource, a great tool. Uh, if you look at their mission, it's exactly what uh, it has provided for my family. Uh, it, it's a resource, it's a tool, it, it provides an avenue to, to advocate for autism awareness. Uh, when families have questions, they do the best to provide those answers. We're, we're happy to be a part of this organization, and the Autism Society of the Greater Capital Region has been there for us, and they will continue to be there for families. We're back at the counter. Uh, the sausage is cooking, and uh, the bruschetta is uh, simmering in the pot. And you can hear that sizzle back there. It smells really good, Amy. Doesn't it's it? delicious. It smells it's great. Really it's good. starting to smell really good in this kitchen. So we're back at the counter now. We're ready to do the second part of this recipe. Uh, Amy, you're going to do the uh, the action here, the, the cutting, and Barry's going to walk us through it. We're going to walk us through. So what we want to do now is first, we want to peel the garlic. And we're going to cut the ends off the garlic so we don't get anything funky in there. I don't want funky. I don't want funky. And you, you just about yeah, there you go. Perfect. You got it. So we're using two about three three, cloves of, a couple of cloves of garlic yeah. for this size recipe. And then That's we're going to dice it up, but we'll get everything ready for it. Yeah. It didn't really crush that well. I don't know if I have the power behind my arms here. Power. <laughs> yeah, it is. How's, oh, How's yeah, that, that smells Perfect. good. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. We got some diced garlic here. We're doing two cloves. Two cloves. All right. Oh, that got crushed. That's a little, yeah, she did. That's she a little did good. There, right there. There you go. That's a good one. No, wait yep. a minute. Wait a minute. Got skin I'm seeing some, I'm seeing see some skin in there. All right, I'm not a professional chef. You got me. I don't, you know. I'm right. walking her through. I just, I'm walking her through. Know, first time cutting so. garlic. So we're gonna add this. <laughs> we're gonna add this garlic to the bowl. Yes, and, we are. Uh, oh, then we're gonna we're gonna do the pepper and then the onion. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do about half of each. Get that out. Okay. I don't wanna cut Angela. Here we go. That's only Angela cut. No. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. No skin in there. No, it's, yeah. We're good. Just a little trick. As, as if you want, you just move it right My up on the nut and, and a throw it right out. Right. Voila. 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 Okay. Good. Now we're going to do the same thing with the pepper. Now we've got to get rid of the center of the pepper over into the... So we want to slice it right in half. Slice it okay. in half. I usually take the top off. Okay. Okay. So you learn something new every so day. You learn yes. something new. And then what you want to do is you can take your finger and just... That way you don't waste any pepper. We don't want to okay. waste the pepper. So we just take... Take the seeds take out. Take the seeds out. Yep. What I like to do is... Because there's always some seeds that are left. There's always mm -hmm. a couple of those stubborn little buggers. Yep. But take it over and we'll rinse it right off in the sink. Good. Okay. Yep. That way we're safe. 
We know it's clean. We don't want seeds and we don't want garlic skin. Right, exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're gonna now, go. just to... Yeah, go again, ahead. We're gonna Come on, Mr. Chef, get in there. There you are. Okay. So, Watch your fingers. We're, we're going to save the finger there. Oh, yes. yeah. Here, you get in the middle. Save the I'm finger. Go on this side now. Okay. There you go. Because this poor kid will have her uh, yeah, cutting from yeah. the top. Yeah. We don't have blood. I you said you cooked, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I liked your husband. <laughs> I try to cook. Let's put it that way. Oh. And then we want to just dice it up. Yeah. Okay. So we have little squares. I'm gonna cut this. Yeah. There you go. Uh -huh. You, you, can, you okay. can help on there that. There you go. Okay. That way we 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 get nice little uniform squares as uniform as we can make it. Yes, sir. Okay. That would be good. Okay. Oh, the sausage is getting. I hear that. I hear the sizzle back there. Looking good. And then of course we have the uh, the onion. And we have the onion. <clears throat> if your mother doesn't agree with it. <laughs> so, now we're going to do the... Oh yeah. Turn this down just a little bit more. There we go. And this again, are we dicing this? Yes. Sort of we're going to dice okay. this up. We're going to peel it first. And this is a sweet onion? This is a sweet Adalia onion. Okay. And this is great. And this will be delish. Hey, you never knew I cooked. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the name I'm sure is What we have in here is a half an onion. We have half an onion, half pepper. sweet, and then a half a sweet green pepper. And then we have two cloves of garlic. And that, that's this part of the recipe, put it on the bowl, and it's right. ready to go into the... Into the broth. Into the broth. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're done here for now. Uh, this is really easy to do. Uh, you can double this recipe. You can even yeah. increase it even further. We used half a pepper. Right. You can use a whole pepper. You can use a whole pepper. So on and so forth. Right. So uh, we're going to take this over to the stove. We're going to finish up this recipe, and then we're going to have some wonderful soup. Uh, we're going to take a short break here. We'll meet you back at the stove. Ooh. Here we go. The Autism Society of the Greater Capital Region has been a great resource, a great tool. Uh, if you look at their mission, it's exactly what uh, it has provided for my family. Uh, it, it's a resource, it's a tool, it, it provides an avenue to, to advocate for autism awareness. Uh, when families have questions, they do the best to provide those answers. We're, we're happy to be a part of this organization, and the Autism Society of the Greater Capital Region has been there for us, and they will continue to be there for families. Hand. Now you want to stir it up a little bit. Okay. Look at that. Oh, that smells so good. What do you think? <laughs> oh my goodness, no, it smells delicious. Now, Barry, this has to simmer a little yeah. more now. Yeah, I would say we, we oh. want to let it simmer at least 15 minutes. And, and here we got a meal that you can prepare in a half hour to 40 minutes. Yeah. You have an entire uh, a really healthy uh, soup. There you go. Look at that. Look, Look at the delicious. color in that, and uh, it smells even better. Half a pound of spinach in. It's already been defrosted, so it's okay. We're just gonna throw this in there. Oh, about half a pound. There we go. That adds a little bit more color to it. Okay. And spinach. Put a little bit more, just because it, it adds a this. great flavor. There we go. There, there go. perfect. perfect. Very right. How do we do? How do we do? Very. I think we did great. Right. You that, can. That looks like Uncle Barry. It's right you, there. You can smell the basil, the <laughs> fresh smell. basil. I mean, that's yeah. very abundant in there, yeah. and it's delicious. And the sausage too. I just, I can't wait to eat that. <laughs> we'll wait till it's done, and we'll put so the cover we're, on it. Now we let the simmer for how long? Let it simmer for about 15 minutes. That way, we know that the onions are cooked and the peppers are cooked. And you've got the blend. Now you've blended all the fresh garlic, and you've blended all the the spices we put in. Get and it into it will the be soup. wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Well, we're going to let the simmer. We're going to get the bowls. We are going to add one final touch, which is Italian bread. Italian bread. Yeah. Right, we're going to cut that up, and we're going to get ready for the soup to be delivered to the counter, and we're going to enjoy. Yes, yeah. we are. Okay. Oh, 
All right, welcome back. We're at the stove again, and the, uh, the the soup has been simmering, and it's just about ready. Actually, it is ready. It is ready. Yeah, we're ready. So to go. Amy's gonna make the the pour here into the bowl, and uh, then we're gonna serve it. Amy, All go right. ahead. All right, uh, back up here. Yeah, back up. All right, let's see if we can. Mm, that's really a drop. All right, let me. Uh... Here we go. Yep, yep. Get that in spoon and... in there because that's gonna that's there gonna go. splatter. Boy, look at that. Boy, that's right. I can feed quite a bit of people too. That looks fantastic. What do you think? Delicious. Now that's gonna be pretty hot. So do you have any pot holders? I don't want any. No, we're good. I can okay. move it. All right. Okay, we're gonna bring it okay, over. Bring it over here. Now, Barry, the, uh, the last fi and final step of this is the bread, and then we're going to put it into Just the bowl. But you can see the soup here, really easy to make, under a half hour. Under a half hour. Okay, all the ingredients are, you can find them anywhere. Anywhere, any uh, store. The salsa, gluten-free, all natural. Bruschetta is gluten-free and all natural. Uh, the bruschetta, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't feel bad, we're just talking about salsa. We're just talking about salsa. <laughs> so I'm going to cut the bread, yes. and then we're going to serve this. And and, uh, and then uh, your your ingredients and your recipe can be found be online, found. Uh, but we're also going to get it to the uh, try and flash it up on the screen yes. here at the end. Uh, and if you haven't tried this, give it a shot because as Andy was talking about through the whole show, there's so many options, right? Andy, oh, what you can do with this. Yes, uh, variable. I mean, you can do pretty much anything with this and have. Could it, does it freeze well? Let's, it, let's it, add, you can freeze it yeah. uh, once it's. The soup you can freeze. The bottles you, you can't because well, no. they're pressure. The soup. But the soup you can freeze and, and serve it at another time. The other things you can do with the bruschetta, which is unique, is you can take the bruschetta and serve it over fish. But you can oh. serve it over on top of chicken. Okay. Uh, I use the bruschetta. Sometimes uh, I'm a pretty lazy guy, so I'll throw some in and I'll just throw it into the microwave without the top on, of course, and heat it up and throw it over some noodles. So it makes a great quick meal. Okay, that one's under you know, just a few minutes. So good. there's so many options, and uh, we had such a good time yeah. cooking here. Uh, we're gonna have Amy pour the first uh, first bowl here. Oh. Uh, we're gonna slide this over. There we go. Perfect. Can you bring this over to here. It's a bit Maybe warm. Do the honors. It's a little warm. Yep. And then uh, do you usually put the bread right on the bowl, or uh, you can. Yeah, I put it on the side, and it's uh, all right. Something you can use to dip into the broth. Okay. And there is your dish. Well, Barry, yeah, I want to thank you for joining us here on the show, for showing us a fantastic recipe. Amy, absolutely fantastic. This was a great uh, help, show. This helping us prepare great and cut up and fry and do all sorts of good things. Thank you. Uh, and it smells great. It's a fantastic, fantastic looking soup. We're going to enjoy oh, some of this yes. right now. So let's uh, let's do that and uh, give it a little taste test here. Give it a little taste test. Absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Just the right amount of spices. Wow. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm. I mean, you know, you could probably also add like hot sauce to it as well. You could. You know, you could. Just if you, you want to zip it up here, man. You right? want to zip? That's and you know, why, yeah. It's zip. You can zip it right. Maybe even some, um, I don't know, turkey or. You could use turkey sausage. Chicken. You could yep. use chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, this is good, Barry. Amy, good? This is excellent. Amy, good? Barry, what do you think? Okay. Excellent. excellent. You guys cook as good as I do. <laughs> <laughs> join us again here on, uh, on the show. We're going to cook some more. Uh, Barry's cool. going to join us again. Yes. Barry, we'd love to have you back sometime. Anytime. If you haven't tried this, try this recipe. It's fantastic, especially on a cold night. Uh, it's great to have some great, great soup like this. Um, enjoy at home. Join us again here on the show. We'll be doing some more great cooking. Or we'll maybe meet, meet you back in the studio. So thank you again for joining us. Amy, thank you. Barry, thank you. Thank you. Join us again on Santa Barbara now. Thank you.